Good day everyone. So welcome to our first ever video online lesson in DS. So today uh, we will be discussing about our second week which is all about the core values and principles of social work. So I have already given you the module for this lesson. So I hope nabasa nyo na siya, nabasa nyo na ito, but then I will still make this video for you to better understand um, the core values and principles of social work. Okay, so before we start, um, I will be discussing to you first, or we will be having the recap first on our module last week. So, sinabi at nalaman ninyo that social work has different scopes. It, it works as a primary discipline, as an equal partner, and as a secondary discipline. So, social work as a primary discipline, I just want you to remember here that it focuses more on about foster homes. So, the social workers in this area has the responsibility of placing homeless children to a suitable homes. So, dito siya na focus It is more of about adoption. So, a social work as an equal partner is from the word itself, equal partner. So, social workers tend to have an equal partner with the communities. So, at this point, social workers had the responsibility of taking part with the community programs that will affect the youth, um, also with the parents, um, and other things around the community. So one example of this one, I'm sorry, so one example of this one is uh, what we call the ALS. So, may mga social workers na nagiging volunteers or who also become teachers na nagkikater for those adults or out-of-school youths, educating them for them to have their own diploma so they could have a job and have a better life in the future. So, ganun po yung social work as an equal partner. How about as a sec secondary discipline? So, it focuses on social work taking part on the industries and workplaces and of course schools so dun siya umiikot doon po sa tatlong bagay na ito umiikot yung scope ng social work primary discipline equal partner and secondary discipline so what we we will be talking about today is the core values so alam ko naman na naaalala nyo pa to still why do we need to talk about core values? So, ulitin ko lang din, core values kasi actually serve as a standard and guidelines to the social workers. Without the social or without the core values, parang ganito yan. Ang mga social workers, they will be like birds na kung saan-saan lumilipad, kung saan nila gusto. Pero hindi po ganun ng social worker. Ang mga social worker must be aligned on the standard, on the code of ethics, or on the core values. Okay? Para standard lahat. Importante kasi na may standard eh. Kasi kaya nga nagawa yung standard out of the standard needs that the people have. So, hindi po tayo gumagawa ng action in social work based on our opinions only. There must be a core value that we must follow. So, ano-ano ang mga core value na ito? Okay. Sorry, sorry. Na-spoil ko kayo sa part na yan. Okay. So, yan. The first core value is the right to self-fulfillment. Ayan. So, lahat naman ng tao may karapatang maging masaya. Tama ba? That is what fulfillment is all about. It is being happy. Ayan, after all the efforts, after all the hardships that you had. Ayan, parang kayo ngayon, you will become so fulfilled pagkatapos sa pagkatapos ng module na ito. Okay. Pagkatapos sa pagkatapos ng, ng class suspension na ito. But then, this right to self-fulfillment is more than that. It is derived from a person's inherent capacity and thrust towards goals. Ayan, naranasan mo na bang maging fulfilled sa isang bagay? Ayan, yung tipong naging ganyan ka. Naluluha-luha ka because you are fulfilled. Okay? You are fulfilled after all the hardships that you took. At lahat po ng tao ay may karapatan na ma-fulfill. At yun po ang trabaho ng ating mga social workers to help us to achieve this, the self-fulfillment. So like for example to this one, lahat po ng mga bata, 
ay merong karapatan na maging fulfilled. Tama ba? Every people or every children has the right to be fed, has the right to be healthy. So, for those children to achieve this kind of fulfillment, ganito po ang ginagawa ng ating mga social workers. They are um, building or conducting um, feeding programs, continuous weekly feeding programs para ma-fulfill yung pangangailangan na ng mga bata. Okay? Naintindihan? So, next. Next is the responsibility to common good. So, ano ba pag sinabi natin common good? Common good is what we call the benefit for all. But, it has a major um, difference. Okay? It has a major difference with the majority wins. Ano ba ang pinagkaiba ng common good at sa majority wins? When we say majority wins, ang nangyayari kasi dito, the society tend to be divided into two. Yun yung tinatawag natin majority and the minor. Okay, sorry for my writing. Alam ko namang walang pinagbago. Okay? So, nahati kasi ang society with major and minor kapag sinabi natin majority wins. When we say majority wins, nananalo sila kasi major of the population are in favor of a certain issue. Pero hindi po ganun ang common good. When we say common good, it is the benefit of everyone. Okay, mayaman ka, mahirap ka, nakatira ka sa executive subdivision or nasa nasa slum area ka, may pinag-aralan ka o wala. Okay, ikaw po ay responsibilidad ng social worker. It is actually the fulfillment of everyone. Whatever race you have, whatever ethnic na meron ka, anong socioeconomic background ang meron ka, responsibilidad ka po ng mga social worker. Okay? So, next, the responsibility of the society. Okay? So, society has the responsibility to facilitate. I want you to take note of this. They have the, or the society, have the responsibility to facilitate. Ibig sabihin, the responsibility of changing, curing, and caring for the community is not only being carried by our social workers. May parte din po dito ang ating society. But what part of the society? Sabi dito, it is through the contribution of its individual members. So, I am not talking about here the government. Hindi po dati pinag-uusapan dito sila Duterte or sila Barangay Captain or any officials in the government. What we are talking about here are the individual sorry are, are are the what we call the individual members man it's not working okay individual members we are talking about you we are talking about your family we are talking about here the people inside the community okay so hindi po kargado solely ng isang social worker ang caring, curing, and changing in the society. There must be a help. There must be a responsibility of the members of the society. Tatandaan po natin iyan, okay? So, like this one. Ang trabaho kasi ng social worker ay ganito. They see the problem. They reach out the people who are affected of the problem. Inaalis nila yung tao na yon sa problema, kinukultivate nila, kinukultivate nila yung tao o yung client who is affected by the problem and then binabalik sa community so that that person will be the one who will change and who will fulfill what is lacking in the community. Uulitin ko, ang trabaho ng social worker as part of the core value, is to cultivate the members of the society to become the society's helper. Uulitin ko, hindi po solely responsibilidad, hindi po nag-iisa si social worker in curing, changing, and in caring for the community. There must be a cooperation of the individuals or of, or of the members of the society. 
okay? Parang alam niyo, parang for example, uh, para magkaroon ng isang forest, hindi naman po tawag dito, para magkaroon ng isang forest, hindi naman necessarily na isang tao lang po ang magtatanim ng mga buto. Okay, at magtatanim ng mga plants para magkaroon ng mga puno. Okay? Tinutulungan po yung tao o yung um, farmer, okay, ng mga puno doon sa forest ng mga ano, you guess, ng mga kapwa ba farmer, hindi po. Tinutulungan po, okay, ng mga ibon, ng mga butterflies, yung tao na yon, Di ba, meron tayong tinatawag na pollination. Okay, wherein the the bees, the birds, and the butterflies, what, are carrying pollens, di ba? Ang ginagawa nila is dinadala nila yung mga pollen and somehow there were, there were actually seeds, di ba, na kinukuha nila sa mga, sa mga halaman, sa mga bulaklak, at ini-scatter nila all around the forest. Nagigets natin kasi hindi po kayang, hindi po kayang magtanim na mag-isa ng farmer para mapuno po lahat ng mga, ng puno ang isang forest. Kailangan po ng members ng forest na yon na tulungan si farmer para maging maayos yung kagubatan. Ganon din daw po in a community. There must be a help okay, of individual members in the society to cooperate with the social workers. Okay? So next, another core value is the, the right to satisfy basic needs. Okay, lahat po tayo, we all have our basic needs. Physical needs, ano to mga to? Food, water, house, clothes, and everything. And your physical needs that na meron ka, that you need. Psychological, when we say psychological needs, these are, sorry, when we say psychological needs, these are the mental, behavior, and emotional stability of a person. That is also a need. Economic Ang economic, it is more on about the financial stability of a family. Yan. So, kailangan po natin yan. Okay? Kailangan po, pansin nga natin ngayon, no? we really need money, di ba? We really need economic stability sa nangyayari ngayon. So, it is also part of our basic need. Cultural, aesthetic, and spiritual realms. Lahat po ng mga needs na to ay responsibility po. Okay? Responsibility po ng social worker. Kasi ito po ay right ng kanyang mga kliyente. Okay? So, malinaw ba yon? So, kapag merong nagugutom, kapag merong may, may, merong may kailangan ng physical needs, nag-feeding programs, kapag meron ng, kapag merong kay, may kailangan ng psychological needs, pupunta si social worker, magka-counseling, magde-debrief. Kapag kailangan ng economic need ng isang pamilya, binibigyan ni social worker ang isang community na ano, binibigyan niya ito ng trabaho. Okay? Binibigyan ng mga, uh, what they call, cooperative uh, business na tinatawag natin. So, every needs that people have in a community is under the responsibility of a social worker. Okay, next, it is the social organizations required to facilitate individuals' effort at self-realization. Okay, so halos katulad lang po siya dito sa responsibility of the society. But the difference is, in this core value, kailangan po ng tulong ng individual members. Tama ba? But dito, ang ang kailang, ang, ang may need na cooperation with the social workers are the social organizations. Okay? There must be a cooperation of the social organizations with the social uh, workers to provide appropriate social resources. So, I'm gonna give you an example. For example, we have this um, social worker organization like the DSWD. Okay? The DSWD, it caters um, children who are under 18 years old na uh, na involve sa cases of drugs, crime, theft, and everything. Okay? So, the DSWD must be incorporated or affiliated with DTI. Sa so, paanong parahan yun, ma'am? Paano siya nangyayari? For example, kung, uh, for example, how can DTI... Okay, how can DTI will able to help the DSWD? For example, si DSWD, meron siya mga clients na bata. 
Okay? Like for example, 15, 14 years old. So, paano makakatulong doon si DTI? DTI can help them through what? Through making these children entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs. DTI could actually train the children in the DSWD how to bake, di ba? How to cook, how to make pastillas, how to make kakanin, di ba? For them to know how to sell it. Nagigats natin? Pwede pong tulungan ni DTI, si DSWD, through conducting trainings with the young people to become young entrepreneurs. Naiintindihan ba natin yun? So, another example. I'm gonna give you an example about this. Let's erase this. Ah, high tech na. <laughs> okay. So, like, let's say for example, um, uh, ano ba? Teenage pregnancy. Okay. Social workers were able to, to, uh, to, to see a problem in a community which is teenage pregnancy. So, ngayon, ang mga social workers could ask help to the organizations like what? Like barangay clinics. Where in the barangay clinics could be able to conduct seminars about teenage pregnancy, about um, financial budgeting, diba? They could conduct seminars with, uh, with health issues. They could conduct seminars about family planning. So, do you now get the sense? Nagigat na, nagigat sa natin. Okay, so very good. So, I know, hindi ko kayo narinig, but I am just assuming that you are really understanding whatever I'm saying. Kasi alam ko, matalino naman kayo. Next na man. Okay. Ayan, so like this picture. So this, I don't know if this is a boy or this person who is being carried is like the community. No, it is like the client. So, ang ginagawa dito is para yung client ay ma-uplift, kailangan po ng tulong ng bawat tao. It must be the help of the whole society. Okay? Ayan. So, next is self-realization and contribution to the society. So, another core value of, uh, tawag dito, of social work is to have this mindset that every person is a helper. Isa po sa mga standard or principle na sinusunod nating mga social worker is to make the clients realize by themselves that they are not a waste, but they are a helper. Hindi po sila patapon. Hindi po porket uh, you have a client, 11 years old, got pregnant with someone who is a drug addict. We could not label that person as hopeless hindi po natin po pwedeng sabihin na wala ng pag-asa ang buhay ng batang ito. Okay? Kasi ganito yung sitwasyon niya. No. We are, we must, actually, actually, we must have this mindset and this core value that we need to help them realize na hindi patapon ang buhay nila. But they are a helper in a society. Malinaw po ba? Okay? Kasi ulitin natin ang unang goal natin kanina dun sa balikan natin itong sinabi ko kanina, no? The responsibility of the society. Ang trabaho ni social worker is tulungan. Okay? Ang trabaho ni social worker is to help people. ba? Diba? It is to help people to be better at things so that this person na mayroong mga potential at capacity, pwede niyang magamit ito to to feel what is lacking in the community so that it will be complete. Okay? Kaya nga kailangan nating i-impart sa ating mga kliyente na hindi na they ako oh, bigla there's the, their destiny cannot be determined to what they are right now. Okay? So may pag-asa pa at yun po ang dapat natin na i-realize sa kanila. Malinaw po ba? So, speaking of that, ayan, since napapag-usapan na rin natin ito, so, alam nyo ba na ang mga social workers, meron silang tinatawag na commitment. So, this commitment is actually, no, oh, kumbaga, their commitment. So, uh, maliban sa core values, they're also uh, uh, betrothing themselves to this commitment. <clears throat> ito yung, kumbaga, paniniwala nila. Paniniwala at, alam mo yun, dignidad na dinadala ng mga social workers. The first one is the concept of human potentials and capacities. 
<clears throat> Tulad nga ng sinabi ko kanina, that even though your client has a drastic past, has a very cruel at napakamasalimuot na kanyang family background, at talagang masalimuot ang buhay na meron siya ngayon, we must <clears throat> always impart to our clients that they have potentials. Dapat kahit na hindi evident sa kanya na kaya niyang mag-succeed, we must social workers be able to see it even other people don't see it in them. Okay? So, <clears throat> we must have this belief that every people in the society has the potentials and capacities. Ko nga eh, I will be asking you, who would have thought, di ba, who would have thought na ikaw bata ka, di ba, na you have failed a lot of times academically, morally, you disobeyed your parents a lot of times, but who would have thought na nandito ka ngayon? still studying, still learning, and now changing gradually. Kasi, this is the natural truth. Da lahat naman ng tao ay merong human potentials and capacities. Okay? <clears throat> so, next. Um, concept of social responsibility. So, we must be able to impart to our clients that they have what? They have what we call obligation. I don't know if I can write obligation. So, yeah. Okay. They have the obligation in the society. Yung tipong hindi ka po pwedeng maging patapon. Kasi kung magiging patapon ang buhay mo for the rest of your life, paano na ang community na kinalalagyan mo? Because the result is very true na ang mga kabataan ang totoong pag-asa ng bayan. We will, we should not be wasting our time, okay, wasting our years doing things that are worthless because we have social responsibility, because we have obligations in the community. Ganun po ang realidad ng buhay. May social workers na handang tumulong sa atin whenever we are oppressed, whenever we are abused, whenever we are, you know, getting lost in our journey. For us to be redirected on our original design of having this obligation to the community. Kaya ikaw, yes, I am talking to you na nakikinig ngayon. Do not waste your time doing worthless things. Because you have a responsibility in the community. Nabuhay ka because you have a purpose to live. Okay? So, next, concept of equal opportunities. So, in this concept of equal opportunities, I, I'm just gonna erase this so that I could write. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I really love how, how techy this thing is. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. So, equal opportunities. So, it is being fair. and equal. Okay? So, whatever kind of social background does your client have, we must give them the fair and equal treatment. Okay po? Naliwanag po ba yun? Yun lang po yun. Okay? So, paulit-ulit na lang tayo sa konsepto na yan that we must not be biased when it comes to treating our clients. Kasi lahat nga ng kliyente natin ay mayroong social responsibility at responsibilidad natin yun na ma-realize nila yun sa sarili nila. Okay? Next is social provision. When we say social provision, you must have this mindset that people... <clears throat> tend to become problematic in their lives. Why? Because they cannot do it alone. They are, they become so problematic to the point na gusto nilang umalis sa ganong klase ng problema, but they just really can't. Why? Because no one is providing a help for them. Okay? Ano lang ibig sabihin nyan? This concept of, of social provision is telling you that they need you. Kailangan ka po ng mga taong oppressed. Social workers are needed by those people who want to quit drugs, who want to quit poverty, who want to have a good educational situation but they just can't. And as a social worker, you must be committed that you must always be a help. Okay, sa mga tao 
sa mga tao for them to overcome their own problems. So, yan po ang commitment natin that we are not choosing our clients because our clients always need us. Okay? So, yan. Okay, so malinaw na ba? So, core values. Meron tayong iba't ibang core values. Sayasayin natin ulit. Fulfillment. Common good. Responsibility of the society. Satisfy the basic needs. Um, the, the cooperation of social organizations. And self-realization and contribution to the society. At hindi nyo dapat kalimutan. Itong tinatawag natin. Social workers commitment. Okay. So, right now, okay, I will be sharing to you this. So, meron pong tayong tinatawag na International Federation of Social Workers. So, ito po ay samahan ng mga social workers worldwide, kaya nga international. Okay, so... As far as I know, that this federation um has actually a mem have a members of 120 social workers that represents social work uh, that represents for uh, more than 3,000. I guess. Wait, lang, let me check it. Sorry, I cannot share it to you my ano my browser. Um, IFSW. Okay. So, they, they are composed, yun na nga, yun na, tama. Composed of 120 professional social worker or social work associations that represents over 3 million social workers worldwide. So, meron po tayong sinusunod dito according to their federation, the Code of Ethics. So, this is their preamble. So, I want you to read it with me. Okay, basahin mo to ha. Ang di magbasa, basta. Okay, so let us read it together. One, two, three, go. Social work originates from humanitarian ideals and democratic philosophy and has universal application to meet human needs arising from personal societal interactions and to develop human potential. Professional social workers are dedicated to service for the welfare and self-realization of human beings to the development of resources to meet individual, group, national, and international needs and aspirations and to the achievement of social justice. And thank you for reading it with me. So, ibig sabihin, this preamble only sums up what we call the mission of social work. Pinapakita lang po doon sa preamble na yon that we have the mission Okay, to help the community. But we will be extracting that mission into discussing the major core values according to IFSW. Okay, so the first core value is service. Ayan, service. So how can we say that... Uh, a social worker is doing a good service on how can you do good service to the community. Una, you need to serve the humanity in their work before personal aims. Ayan. So you need to go first. You need to um to, to uh you you need to go first the needs of other people before yours. Sa Tagalog, kailangan mong unahin ng ibang tao bago ang sarili mo. That is what we call good service. That is what we call true service. Like for example, um, the nurses and the uh, the health officials sa bansang to, di ba? We are now experiencing the COVID-19. And as uh, what we could see, na there were actually volunteers who are ready to take risk yung health nila just to offer help to other people. Just like, for example, in China. In China, there are um, social workers who are roving around the different um, communities na handang tumulong, taking their own risk, taking their own health, na possible mahawaan sila ng COVID-19. How sure we are that facial masks and alcohols are 100% safe para hindi ka mapasahan ng virus, but then still, they're able to sacrifice their own health just to serve the humanity. Yung po yung tinatawag nating service. 
Okay? Inuuna mo ang ibang tao bago ang sarili mo. Okay, naranasan mo na ba yun na pagbukas mo ng piatos, inuna mong bigyan yung katami mo bago ka kumain. Ayan. Di ko lang alam kung nagawa mo na yon. But then still, you use your power and authority in ways which serve humanity. Gamitin mo kung anong meron ka. You have the power to, you have the knowledge. Actually, kasama sa power mo, yung kaalaman mo eh, in counseling and intervention. And in understanding the people, that is actually a good power. And you have the authority like your license to help other people. So you need to use your power and authority to serve the humanity. Gamitin mo yung alam mo. Gamitin mo yung meron ka for you to provide good service. Diba? If you are, if you have the knowledge on how to help other people, and you have, if you have the authority, for example, lang no, you have the power, um, you have the power to speak, you have the power, um, to, uh, to post in social medias, and you have the authority, kasi citizen ka naman ng lugar na to. You use that to to serve the humanity. Kung meron kang power to help other people. And you also have the authority to do it. And the, pag sabing authority, I am not only talking about um the the what they call is the position. I am talking about the permission, ne ba? Kung meron kang power, meron kang instrumento na pwede mong gamitin, at kung meron kang permiso to use that power, you help. Tumulong ka. You serve other people. Because when we serve other people, it means na. It doesn't mean that you serve other people because you benefit from them. You serve other people even though you don't receive anything. That is what we call service. Okay? And you need to ensure that services are offered and delivered in a culturally appropriate manner. Okay? So, whatever the needs of your client, you give it. Okay? You give it. Okay? Which is culturally in, in a culturally appropriate manner. Okay, next ay social justice. Okay? So, when we say social justice, it is a fair to access to public services and benefits to achieve human potential. Kung makikita natin sa picture na to, no, merong isang madupang na lalaki ayan, na inangkin ng isang big bag of money and then create a gap so that these people will not able to cross and get and access this big bag of money. That is what we call um, unfair justice. That is what we call um, unequal distribution of resources. Mali po ito. Hindi po ganon. In social work, you have the, this core value that whatever the personality or whatever the social background of the person is, you need to be fair with them. Okay? You need to be fair with them to achieve human potential. Kung kailangan mo, uh, actually may mga, ano, may mga social workers who travel province to another province just to visit and monitor their clients. They are doing it. Okay? They are doing it. They do what the clients need. Kung yun naman yung sa tingin nila na mag achieve na kanilang human potential. Okay? So, another kind of social justice is as a social worker, you challenge the abuse of power. Uh, for suppression okay you help you protect the people from the abuse of power for suppression and so like for example no if there is a threat for example yun nangyari din sa um taal volcano eruption if there is a threat that there will be um people who will abuse their power in handling the donations or relief goods doon po umeentrada ngayon si social worker to protect the people. Okay? Kasi, hindi natin may iwasan to eh. This is, alam mo, it is a natural thing for humans eh. That once we have this power, expectedly, aasahan mo, na darating sa point that they will be abusing the power. Pero luckily, we have the social workers sa may ganitong klaseng core value who will protect the oppressed, who will protect the unprivileged, Okay, like, uh, like for example, uh, as far as I know, sabi ni, 
sorry, sabi ni um, Duterte last time na um, barangay captains are now the ones who are responsible of taking care and giving food sa mga tao niya in the barangay. Okay, if there is a threat of abuse of power of those barangay officials, dapat po nangihimasok doon si social worker. And possibly na dapat si social worker itself po ang nagdi-distribute, ang nag-organize at nagmo-monitor ng tulong to make it what? To make sure that the sources are equally distributed. Hi po. Okay. So this Um, social injustice, it, is, it does not actually happen only in our community or in the government. But also, it happens in what? It also happens in family. Marami pong mga bata, okay? marami mga asawa na naaabuso, na oppressed ng power of their spouses, of their fathers and mothers. And they also in need of help ng ating mga social workers. Okay. So there will are children who are being abused, who cannot, you know, hindi hindi nila kayang mag-arise because they are too much afraid of the power na meron ang ibang tao. Okay? Na ino-overpower sila or ino-overtake sila. So sakop dun po sila ng responsibility ng social justice ng ating mga social workers. <clears throat> okay. So yan. Okay, so it is also the same, just like I have discussed late uh, earlier. So next is dignity and worth. Wait, ko ano ano yung mga core values. First is service. Second, I social justice. And next is dignity and worth. So you. As a social worker, have the core value according to NASW to respect all persons. Okay? Hindi po porket ang kliyente mo ay walang pinag-aralan at ikaw nakapag-masteral ka, nakagraduate ka ng college. It doesn't mean that you will undermine them. They are important. They are all equal. Okay? They are all unique. They are all what? Worthy and valuable. Okay? And they worth of your respect. Okay? So, yan po. And another is importance of human relationships. So why do we need um to to to, to make this as one of our core value? Bakit? Kasi for example, you were able to to fix what is wrong on the life of your out of school youth client. Na ayos mo yung buhay niya, na encourage mo siya, na empower mo siya. Alam mo na magiging instrument na siya to become the helper of the society. Pero, paano kaya, no? Kapag, okay na siya, pero kapag uuwi siya sa bahay nila, di ba? He is always encountering broken relationships with his family. Malaki po ang chances na, ano, bumalik po siya doon sa dati niyang gawin. Kaya nga po, we need to take importance on the relationships na meron po si client in his family, in the community. Kaya nga, there are also social workers who are not all, only mon- monitoring the, the lives or the behavior of their clients sa DSWD, but they're also monitoring the relationships inside the family. Okay? Ganun kasi yun eh. Kasi alam mo, ang tao naman, ang tao naman kasi, para tayong, alam mo, yung prutas, we are, kaya natin maging fresh, okay? Kaya natin maging, maging presko, okay? Pero, once na ilagay ang prutas sa isang basket na puno ng bulok ng prutas, mabubulok at mabubulok tayo. Because we are a social being. Ang tao po ay social being. We were always get affected with our relationships with other people. So, as a social worker, you have the responsibility to take importance of the relationships with other people. Okay? So, yeah, and you, uh, you need to encourage them to, lo- to love their families, to love their kids, to love the authorities in the community. Next is integrity. So, sa integrity, ayan. So, when we say integrity, it is doing the right thing even when no one is watching. Ayan. Ayan, natatas sa inyo ngayon. Your integrity. It, inaaral mo ba talaga yung module? Or minamatch mo na lang yung tanong doon sa content ng module para malaman mo yung sagot? 
Okay, are you still, are you really making your own answers or just copying answers from your client, ay, from your clients, from your classmates? Okay, kung hindi, in, may integridad ka, that is good news for you. You have the integri- integrity. You are doing things that is right even no one sees you. Yan po yung sinasabi nating integridad. Okay, na manonood ka ng video na to, you will study the module even though the teacher is not requiring you. Even the teacher is not um, obligating or even the teacher is not around you. Mag-aaral at mag-aaral ka pa rin. That is what we call integrity. And as a social worker, you need to be honest when it comes to your what? When it comes to your qualifications. Ito ka na nalagay sa ibaba. You need to be honest when it comes to your qualifications. Okay? Honest ka dapat sa educational experience background na meron ka. Hindi po tayo as a social worker lagi nagmamarunong. If it is your first time to encounter such problem, you admit it. You become honest with it and you seek help with your co-workers or with your co-social workers. You must be reliable. Okay? Open ka dapat to learning and you must be impartial. Even no, you must be impartial. When we say impartial, you must not be biased. Even no one sees you. Maliwanag po. Like for example, I have what I have um I don't know if I have watched it or read it, but there was this case na na itong si social worker ang trabaho niya is to allocate this homeless child sa isang suitable home. So, nag-divorce kasi yung um, parents ng bata na yon. So, the job of the social worker is to decide kung saan mapupunta si child. So, ang nangyari is the, the social worker decided to allocate the child to the home of the father. So, ngayon, months after, it was found out na itong tatay na to was able to commit some... Um, accidents, drunk accidents kasi alcoholic pala itong tatay na to. Pero ngayon, ito kasi si social worker, they have this uh parang ano siya eh, parang to keep a good record. Okay, hindi parang mali para ang pangit sa record nila yun eh kapag ka, yung naging decision nila nung una babaguhin kasi nagkamali sila. Do you get the sense? So, ngayon ang nangyari, itong si social worker pinanindigan niya na kahit na si tatay ay alcoholic, isa siyang drunker. Pinanindigan niya yung desisyon niya na pag-stayhen si bata in the care of a drunk father. So, what happened now is, okay, naging impartial itong si social worker. Wala pong ibang nakakaalam nung ginawa ni social worker, but only the father and him. and her. There was no authorities involved at that moment. But then still, he lacks or that social worker lacks integrity. Naging unbiased siya sa sitwasyon. Naging madaya siya sa madaling salita. So what happened to the child is na uh, while parang nagkaroon ng isang accident wherein si tatay lasing siya ng time na yun habang nagka-drive. So they were, uh, they were able to commit a car accident. So namatay yung bata. Okay, so it's it's really the fault okay of the social worker because of lacking this very important core value. Okay? And last is competence. Okay, sabihin mo nga competence. Competence. Okay, so competence it is continuous learning and training. Isa po sa mga core value natin bilang social workers is for us to continuous learn. and train ourselves. No more, learn more, experience more. Okay? Parang yung, yung, yung trabaho natin as a social worker is like parang pag-gym. Para ma-enhance mo yung katawan mo, you need to undergo continuous training. So, attend ka, seminars, workshops, trainings, read books, anything that you can do for you to gain more knowledge, for you to serve um, effectively, serve better to the people. Okay. Okay, so ayan. So as a social worker, we need to conduct continuous learning and training for us to learn more. Okay? So, yon, yun po ang ating core values. Enumerate natin ulit sabay-sabay tayo.
Dali. Service. Okay, we have service, social justice, uh, dignity and worth, importance of human relationships, integrity, competence, and competence. Okay? So we will be moving on to this another set of our lesson, which is about the principles of social work. So aside from the core values that we need to follow as a standard of our job or of our work, okay, meron tayong tinatawag na principles of social work. Okay, these are the, the foundation or the guiding principles na meron tayo aside from the goal of values. First is acceptance. Amen. So, hindi lang po tayo tumutulong in the society. Hindi lang po tayo nag-build up ng mga tao in the society, nag-change, cure, at nag-care sa mga tao. But we also accept them. Okay? How can we be able to accept them? We were able to accept them if we will manifest warmth, interest, and concern. Okay? So, may mga tao na tawag dito, May mga tao na, na mahirap pakisamahan because, yun, alam mo yun, they have this different opinions in life kasi nga ibang family background yung kinalakihan nila. But then still, you need to accept the diversity. You still need to accept them. Give them a warmth, interest, and concern okay, about their own situation. So, may mga clients tayo na actually, we cannot, ano, eh, we cannot avoid it. It is normal for us people to to have the first impression in our clients. May mga client, lalo na sa social work, na talagang makikita mo, bordado ng tato, tapos maitim yung mga labi, di ba? Singot ang singot, di ba? May blonde yung bong, sobrang panat, nakatira sa slum area, di ba? It is, kumaga, na a natural instinct for, for people na magkaroon tayo ng first impression. Pero bawal po kasi sa social work ang maarte. Okay? Hindi po tayo, ah, yun, yeah, nagdi-react sa'yo, mukha kang ano, di ba? Hindi po ganun. Even though um, they, they do not have the pleasing personality, they do not have the pleasing physical appearance, you need to accept them, smile at them, welcome them. Okay, ganun po as a social worker. Okay? Ako, I have experienced a lot, a different different kinds of people na ganun. Di ba? And alam mo, ik ikaw ba naman? I'll be asking you if you are the person na ganun talaga yung lifestyle mo. Tapos dadagdagan ka pa ng judgment. Diba? Pa paano ka magkakaroon ng hope? So, give them the warmth, interest, and concern about their situation. And then, clients' participation in um, problem solving. Isa po sa principle na dapat po natin tandaan, okay, is the client must always participate in the counseling, or intervention process. Kailangan po ipaunawa natin sa kanila na hindi po tayo nag spoon feeding ng bata. Okay? Ipaunawa natin sa kanila that without their cooperation, without their help, they will never overcome what they are experiencing. Okay? Kailangan po makita nila sa sarili nila, okay, na kaya ko to. Sabi nga dito, Ayan, sa self-determination pa pala yun. Okay. So, yun na nga. So, we need to make the client participate in problem solving. Make them think about their problem. Okay. Make them think. Sa tingin mo, like questions like, sa tingin mo, bakit, ano, bakit, bakit ka nahihirapan? Bakit maghirap pa rin sa'yo ngayon? Bakit wala kang interest sa pag-aaral? And, pustahan tayo sila rin na makakasagot sa mga tanong na meron sila. Okay? So, kailangan po natin mag-participate. Ay, kailangan po nilang mag-participate per se. Okay? So, yun. And the next, self-determination. We need to help our clients to be determined on their situation. Kasi aminin natin, there were, there were situations of our clients who are so hopeless. Diba? Uh, simula pa sa kanina, ninuan nila, diba? Mahirap na sila hanggang ngayon, mahirap pa rin sila. And that is really a hopeless situation. 
mahirap po mag-encourage ng mga tao na pinamulatan ng kahirapan at i-encourage mo sila na kaya mo yan, it will be very difficult. Sinasabi ko sa inyo yan. But then still, you need to determine or you need to encourage them okay, that they are not a waste. That life is not over. They can't do it. Alam nyo, just to share to you, I have this one uh, person, kinausap ko siya, um, at tawag dito, um, that boy, siguro ba, 14 years old pa lang ata siya nung time na yun, so, yung, lala, yung lalaki na yun, nakabuntis siya. Okay. So, nakabun- na- may relationship sila, and then, yun, oh, nakabuntis. So, etong si lalaki, wala siyang permanent job. Uh, mga side jobs lang, Uh, pag tinatawag daw siya ng uncle niya na magtinda sa ganito and meron silang maliit na negosyo which is pagtitinda ng balot so wala naman silang stall naglalako sila ng balot yung parents na naglalako ng balot and as what you can see yung bahay nila talagang mahirap okay? masasabi mo talaga na hindi well off yung kanilang family so I asked him this question sabi ko sa kanya ikaw, magiging papa ka na. You will become a father soon kasi buntis pa lang yung kanyang um, girlfriend. So, ikaw, wh- wh- what do you see yourself? Sabi ko sa kanya, anong nakikita mo sa sarili mo? ba diba? Being a father. Sabihin natin, five years from now, ano ang nakikita mo sa sarili mo? Alam yung sagot niya. Ang sagot niya, wala po. And that is very, very sad. That is the saddest answer I have ever heard from a man, okay, thinking to himself that he cannot do anything kasi ganun siya. Kasi ganun na lang yung buhay nila. Okay? So, mahirap mag-encourage, yes, pero sabi nga natin dito, we need to participate. We need to make them participate in problem solving. Okay? Na, na meron silang tinatawag na talents and potentials, okay? Meron silang mga talents and potentials sa pwede nilang gamitin for them to overcome their own problem. Nakakalungkot. Every time I uh, I remember that scenario, I always got sad. Diba? People are thinking na ganito na ako, family ko, lolo ko, lola ko, ganito na, dito na kami nakatira ever since. Tapos ayaw pa daw siya, hindi pa daw ata siya tanggap ng side ng babae. So, he is really hopeless. Pero we need to give them this encouragement, okay, na kaya nila yan. Okay, bakit nila kaya? The question is, bakit kaya nila kaya? Kasi every client is unique individualization. Lahat po ng client ay may potential. Sinabi natin yan sa, saan? Sa commitment. Di ba? Bakit nila kayang ma-overcome lahat ng problema na kaya, na napapagdaanan nila? Because they all have this unique assets, potentials, and capacities to overcome their problems. Mali, hindi po totoo, hindi po tama at totoo, okay, naisipin ng isang tao na wala siyang talento, na wala siyang skill. Because every person is created to have one. Okay? And there is no two clients that are exactly alike. Marahil meron, meron magkakatulad na problema, pero may magkakaiba pong mga tao on how they are going to address it. Like for example, as a social worker, Habihin natin, meron kang two similar problems. But those in, those in those two similar problems, you have two different people. So, yung types of intervention na i-apply mo sa kanila is also different. Based on their personality, based on their age, based on how they perceive things. So, yun po yung principles natin. And then, confidentiality. I am always reminding you this, that um, kahit na, na we need to always keep in secret, all the information na kinikip natin about them. Okay? Unless, sabi ko sa inyo, there is a court order or unless it will inflict harm on other people. But without those, uh, kung wala naman ganong consideration tayong iniisip, we need to keep all the information confidential. Okay? And uh, worker self-awareness. Ang worker na sinasabi natin po dito ay ikaw po as a social worker. You need to become self-aware of your own feelings. 
and opinions. Sorry. Ay. Wala na, this cannot be right, okay? Feelings or opinions whenever you talk or encounter a certain client. Kaya nga sabi dito, you need to be conscious about your role. Okay? Kung yung role ba, yung sinasabi mo ba, yung nararamdaman mo ba, yung ini-impart mo bang tulong sa sa client mo ay professional pa ba? O baka naman kasi, uh, nabibigay ka ng tulong out of your emotions, out of your opinion. Out, out of your um, subjective perception sa sitwasyon ni client. No. Hindi po ganon. You need to become self-aware kung nagiging subjective ka na ba. Okay? Kung nagiging emotional ka na ba. Or kung baga naiinis ka na. Kasi like for example, di ba sabi natin kanina doon sa um, core values. Yung importance of, anapin natin yon Sige, wag na. Importance of human relationships. So, hindi lang po yung biktima yung ini-interview at monitor mo. Pati din po yung ng biktima. Pati din po yung ng bubugbog. Possible po yun. And hindi po dapat tayo magpadala with our own feelings na maiinis ka. To the point na hindi mo na siya tutulungan. Bibigyan mo siya ng maling intervention. Lalo mo siyang down Hindi po. You need to be conscious with that. At dapat aligned ka po sa professional relationship mo with your clients. Okay? So, next, client-worker relationship. So, this principle of social work is similar with relationship building. As a counselor, or sorry, as a social worker, okay, building. As a social worker, you need to have a relationship to be built with your client. Okay? So, to help the client in some area of, kasi kailangan mo pumasok sa mundo niya. Kaya nga kailangan mo ng, ano eh, ng matinding connection with your client kasi kailangan mong pumasok sa mundo niya. Kasi maraming, possible yun eh, na maraming karanasan si client na hindi mo pa nararanasan. Na hindi mo magawang maiintindihan because you haven't experienced it yet. Kaya you need to have the relationship and connection with your client for them to understand their social functioning. For you to understand the reason why they are angry, why they are being oppressed, why they are being sad, why they are taking drugs in the first place. Ikaw ba, na, na, nakapag-take ka na ba ng drugs? Diba, kung hindi ka pa nakapag-take ng drugs at may nakausap ka na isang out-of-school youth na nagtatake ng drugs, paano mo siya maiintindihan? I just want to talk. Malamang uhusgahan mo yung bata na yun. Okay, of the reason why he is taking drugs, illegal drugs. Kaya nga, we need to build relationship so that we could effectively help our client overcome their own problems. Okay? So, that's it. Tapos na po ang ating lesson. So, I hope meron po kayong naintindihan at natutunan. So, I know naman that this lesson is self-understood. Pero I just want to cite some objective um, facts and insight lang dito para mas lalo ninyong mas maintindihan. So, again, principles of social works, acceptance, client's participation, self-determination, individualization, and confidentiality. And worker self-awareness and the client-worker relationship. So, right now, okay, since we, have, we are already done with um, this topic, so I'm gonna give you a task, okay? So, Itong task na to, uh, you need to answer this question. Okay? So, hindi ko po ito isusulat. Hindi ko po siya tinipe actually sa video na to. Kasi this is a discrete task for you. Okay? Mamaya ko na-explain kung bakit. Okay? So, the question is, I want you to write it on the on your paper or on your phone if you can. Ayan. So, the question is, do you think... Social justice can still be achieved. Okay? So, do you think social justice can still be achieved for the common good? Do you think social justice can still be achieved for the common good? Sa tingin mo ba, achievable pa rin ang social justice? Okay? Sa common good. Like, everyone can achieve it. Like, everyone can experience social justice. Do you think, is it still... um? achievable. 
Okay, and as a student, how can you promote it? Yeah, that is my challenge question for you. So, sa tingin mo, possible pa ba ang social justice for the benefit of everybody? And bilang isang student, how can you promote social justice? Okay, so this is now what you're going to do. So, the reason kung bakit hindi ko po siya um, input dito sa ating presentation Because this is going to be your extra credit for your recitation. So, someone must, of course, um, watch this video for you to be able to garner the, for you to be able to garner the, um, the extra credit recitation. Okay. So, okay. So, this is my major, major rule for you. So, hindi mo po ito, ito po pwedeng i-post. Yung tanong, hindi mo po ito po pwedeng i-post, po pwedeng i-share sa kung kanino man. You cannot share, post it to your classmates. Malinaw ba yun? So, this, um, this extra credit for the recitation will be earned for those people who will watch this lesson. Importante kasi na matutunan nyo tong lesson na to. So, malaman ko lang na ito po ay nalaman ng iba na hindi enrolled sa Google Classroom o hindi nanood. Nakikita ko po yun kung sinong nanood. Hindi nanood ng video. Lahat po kayo ay madadamay. Okay. Common good tayo dito. Majority me. Hindi po. Common good tayo dito. So, this is one thing that I just want to impose to everyone. So, you need to answer this. Okay, without sharing this question to your classmates through Messenger, Facebook, or anything. So, saan ilalagay yung sagot? Ilalagay nyo po yung sagot doon sa comment box. If someone asks you, bakit nagko-comment kayo, anong tanong, you should not answer. You will not be posting the question, but you will only be posting your answer on the comment box of this video. Malina po ba yon? Sana naging malina po sa ating lahat yon. Okay? So, next week, I will also be posting another um, lesson um, sa ating Google Classroom. So, I hope na may natutunan kayo at I hope na magamit nyo to ngayon, lalo pat uh, for the situation ng ating bansa ngayon. So, please keep safe everyone. So, I am not actually requiring you na na tawag dito, na magrenta pa ng computer, sa computer shop just for you to watch this, for those lang na capable, na kayang manood, okay? Kung kaya manood, kung hindi kaya, edi wag. Malinaw po ba yon So, yun lang. So, I will be seeing you, okay? Hearing you from the comment box. So, please keep safe everyone and God bless all. God bless us all.